In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to draw Kai from Ninjago step by step. So I hope you're going to follow along with me. You've got a marker and some paper. Now, remember, if you're using a marker, you want to make sure you have more than one sheet of paper so that your drawing doesn't soak through and get onto your table. All right, now we're first going to start by drawing his head. We're going to draw it right in the middle of our paper towards the top. Now we're going to draw his eyes first. We're going to draw two circles. And we're going to draw them kind of small so that we can draw the rest of his body. Now we're going to draw another circle right next to it, and I'm coloring in the circle but leaving a little white dot inside his eye for the reflection. All right, now let's draw his eyebrows. We're going to draw an upside down check mark so he looks angry. And we're going to draw that on the other side also. And if I ever go too fast, you can always pause the video to take extra time to finish a step. Now we're going to draw the side of his head, we're going to draw two lines, and we're repeating a lot of the same steps that we did for Lloyd when we drew him. So we're also going to draw him uh, with just a bandana on his face so we can draw his hair. Now we have the two lines on the side of his head, we can draw his bandana. So right here we're going to draw a V-shape that's rounded at the bottom, comes back up and then connects the left side over to the right. Then we can draw the top of the bandana. So we're going to draw it right here and we're going to come up and we're going to connect to his eyes and then come back down to the other side. All right, now I'm going to leave it just like this, but we can add more details when we color it in. Now we can draw his hair. On the left side, let's draw a small little W coming down over his eye. And then on this side, let's draw a V, a small V. Then we're going to draw a bigger M connecting the left side over to the right. So we're going to draw a line that comes over zigzags back and then it's going to come back up and then back down and connect. So It's kind of a funny sideways M. Now let's draw the outside of his hair. Over here we're going to draw a V shape sticking out on the side and we can do that same shape over here on the right side. Then on the left and the right we're going to draw a curve that comes up on both sides and then let's draw one spike on the left side over here. Then we're going to draw two M's. We're going to go up, down, back up, back down. And then we're going to draw another one right next to it. This one can even have a taller spike and then a small spike and then connect. <laughs> He's got awesome hair. I wish I had hair just like him. Now we're going to draw the rest of his body next. So now we're going to draw his shoulders. We'll draw a line that comes out on both sides. Now let's draw the side of his body. We'll draw a line that comes down on both sides, down to his waist. Then at the very bottom, let's connect him the left side over to the right. All right, now we can draw his left arm. We're going to draw two lines that come out from his shoulder. And then we're going to draw, we'll draw that second one down here for the inside of his arm. And then we can connect these two with a curve. Now let's draw his hand. We're going to draw a line that comes straight down, a diagonal. Then we're going to draw a line coming out. It looks like an upside down L. Then we're going to connect the end of the L back to the bottom. Next, draw two lines for his wrist to connect his hand to his arm. We did it. We finished his left arm. Now we need to draw his right arm. So we're going to repeat a lot of those same steps. Let's draw another diagonal line that comes out, and we want it to look just like the left arm. So we're going to start in the same spot, draw the inside of his arm, and then connect the two lines with a curve. Then let's draw his hand. We'll draw that upside down L, and then connect the end down to the bottom with a curve. And then that last step, draw two short lines for his wrist. Now that's a simple way to draw a Lego hand, and it's not in 3D, but we can add some shading to make it look more round and three-dimensional at the end. Okay, now let's draw his waist. We'll draw two short lines that come down, and then we're going to connect them with a line that matches the top line, this line right above it. Next, we're going to draw his legs. I'm going to draw a curve that comes out to the left and also a curve on the right side going the other direction. And then we can connect these two. Cool. Now that's the start of his legs. Now right here in the middle, we're going to draw the inside of his legs. So let's draw 
one curve going this direction and another curve going the other direction. Then let's complete the left side first. So we're going to draw another curve that comes down on each side. Then we'll connect those two. And then right here, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes out on each end. This is going to be the top of his foot. And then we can connect those two lines also. Then we're going to draw two lines straight down. And this is the front of his foot. Then connect those two lines also. And we're almost done with his left foot. Let's draw the inside of his leg. Draw a curve that comes down. And then we'll connect these two lines. All right, we did it. We drew his left leg. Now we can repeat all those same steps for his right leg, but we're going to face it the other direction. So we'll repeat all the same lines, but we're going to but we're going to reverse it so it's pointing the other direction. So we've got the two curves for the outside of his legs. Draw a line in between them. And then we'll draw those two short lines for the top of his foot. Then connect those two lines. And then two lines straight down for the front of his foot. Connect them. And then we can come back up here to the middle and draw the inside of his leg. It looks like an L shape. Now he kind of looks like Kai because he has the hair and he also has the bandana, but his body just looks like a regular Lego dude. So we need to add more details to his gi. So let's add his shoulder pads first. We're going to draw a diagonal line that comes out from his shoulder and we can repeat these same steps on each side. Just face it the other direction. So we got two diagonal lines. Then we're going to draw a line coming out. So now we're going to draw a W. We're going to draw down, back up, down, back up. Then let's connect it to his arm. And then let's repeat those steps over here. So we're going to draw that first line that's a little longer. Then we'll draw the W. We'll come down, back up, down, and up again. And then we can connect that into his arm. Okay, it looks really cool, but let's add a few more details. We're going to add a line right against his arm. And then right here, we can draw a diagonal line that connects on each of the bumps. And then I'm going to repeat that over here on his right side. Okay, now we got his cool shoulder armor. Now let's draw the details on his chest. Down here, right on his belly, we'll draw a circle. That's a pretty good sized circle. We could draw another circle inside of that that's smaller. Then he has more armor up here on his shoulders. We'll draw a line, two lines that come down from his chin. And then diagonal lines that come down towards the side of his body. And then right at the end, we'll connect it into his armpits. Cool. Now let's repeat that same line just smaller inside. So we'll go around and repeat that same shape. Oh, he's looking really cool. Now let's add a few more details on his shoulders. So another curve inside of this cool shape. Then he has these cool straps connecting to the inside. So we'll draw two lines. All right, now he has a few more straps inside of his costume. So we're going to draw two diagonal lines connecting to the circle. And then on the left side, we'll connect two more lines into the center. Now right under his chin, we're going to draw a horizontal line. And then over here, we're going to draw two more strap lines. One here, and then also one down here on the bottom. And then repeat those same strap lines on the left side. Okay, now in here, let's draw two more lines and repeat that over on the other side. Now Kai has a bunch of different weapons we could draw in his hands, but I thought it would be fun to draw the double jade blade. So we're going to start by drawing two rectangles, one on top of his hand and one below his hand. Then right here on the end, we can connect the two rectangles together. Then let's draw one more rectangle on top. 
and I drew it a little smaller. Then let's draw that same size rectangle down here on the bottom. Now we can draw the jade part of his sword. So we're gonna draw a curve that comes out of the top and it kind of curves right at the end. Then we're gonna draw a shorter curve coming out of the left side and it's gonna zigzag back down close to the handle. Then we're gonna curve back up, do a little zigzag out and then curve up even higher. Well, it's looking awesome. <laughs> then we're going to draw a line that comes down and connects to the right side, but it's going to go past it. Now we could also draw a few extra shapes up here. Add just little shapes inside of his blade. And I'm going to draw a little circle down here at the bottom. Now we're going to repeat a lot of these same shapes, but it's going to be on the other side. So we'll draw this curve. This curve that we drew first, we'll draw it on this side. Then over here, we're gonna draw a shorter line coming up and back towards the handle. So we can draw this little spike over here. Now we'll draw the line coming down and connecting to his leg. And then over here, let's just draw a line that connects to the bottom of his leg also. And we did it. We can just imagine that the rest of his blade is behind his leg. And if we want, we can add a few extra shapes on his sword. Now, it's really cool because on these blades, it, it's supposed to look like a dragon head, but we just tried to keep this lesson simple and just used little shapes to add the details. Now, the very last thing I'm gonna do is add an extra line around his blade to make it look slightly thicker and bigger. So we're gonna draw a line that just matches the same shape that we already drew. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this side. And then we can come down and repeat that same line for the other side of our jade sword. Okay, he looks so cool, except I'm gonna go around the outside and thicken up the line. Now I really love doing this. I love adding that extra thick line because it makes the drawing look like it's gonna pop right off the page. Now we still need to color him. He's gonna look even better once we add color. You guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring that I did. I used the computer and Photoshop to do this, but you guys can use anything you want. You can use colored pencils, crayons, markers, even paint. If you had fun following along with me, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. And down here in the corner, we have more art lessons just for you. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye.